Tamer Snow Palooza, and we are moving forward. Between the snow days and winter storms this year, Mount Tabor Elementary celebrated an event called Snowpalooza. Mount Tabor kids and families enjoyed 11 stations with snow-related crafts and games. We spoke to PTO President Robin Miller about this cool event. Yeah, so this is a family, a family style event. We encourage all of our families to bring their students here as well as their siblings so that they have a night filled with fun family time. Our lives are so busy, we don't get a lot of time to spend time with our families often in the evenings, running around to other activities and sports and work engagements. So to be able to come to your school, engage with your school and your family at the same time, that's what this event is all about. Mount Tabor's newly formed PTO has organized a year packed full of family fun. But fun isn't the only goal. The PTO wants to emphasize both entertainment and education during their events. From an educational perspective, we really want to make sure that our events are not only, as I mentioned, affordable or free, primarily accessible, fun, but we really try to bring some family education components to our events as well, because we don't always have a lot of time as families to go see seek out that kind of education. So with our school nurse here tonight, she's talking about health and wellness, healthy tips, um, ways to wash your hands per, you know, well so that you don't get sick during the year. We also have information that we got from the Emergency Management Association, gave us some healthy tips on um, keeping your dogs and your pets safe during this time of year. With exciting events like the Back to School Bonanza, a family movie night and the pumpkin party, the Mount Tabor PTO has already done some great work for the school and the community. Mount Tabor students and families have the Tiger Trot and the Spring Festival to look forward to. I think the more we can engage the community and all the great things that our public school system here in New Albany, Floyd County are doing, um, I think is amazing. I'm glad to be part of it. A big thank you to all the PTO members who helped make our schools great. These Georgetown Elementary students shaved their heads for St. Baldrick's on March 7th in honor and memory of Harper Winneman. After a year and a half of fighting cancer, Harper got her wings on December 30th, 2014. Georgetown Elementary is working hard to help put a stop to childhood cancer. Do you have a suggestion for a student spotlight or teacher feature? Know about something great happening at your school? Please let us know. We're always looking for story ideas. And for the latest news and information on our schools, teachers, and students, just visit our website. Like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at NAFC Success. We'll see you next week on Moving Forward.